In this video, I'm going to talk about a host file editor. This is one of the application within the Power Toys application. Now, this uh, does not have a keyboard shortcut. So what you need to do is like, you need to launch the Power Toys app and then click on the host file editor through which you can uh, open the host file edit application and then make changes to the host file. Now, uh, host file are nothing but a file which is available within your uh, operating system, uh, which is kind of like a DNS mapper. Okay, so it has a uh, uh, content which has an IP address and the name. So whatever name you type, it will resolve to that IP address. So that's the whole logic behind the host file. Now, uh, if you want to manually update the host file, what you usually do, as you see on the screen, uh, you need to go into this path, see Windows System 32 drivers etc host, open this file in notepad. The notepad is very ugly as you see over here. It does not have any structure. And then you uh, edit the host file. Now that's an old way of doing things, okay? Now what this host file editor does, it, it allows you to manage the host file in a more user-friendly way. You need not remember the path of the host file, okay? As I sh um, I'm showing it over here, you need not remember this ugly path. Now the file encodings can be configured and you must use PowerToys app to launch this application. So there is no shortcut key. So this is how the host file edit application will look like. Now, I'm in the Power Toys application and in host file editor, if I click on the left hand side host file editor, it will open the interface. Okay. Now here I can enable the host file editor. I can disable it or enable it. And from here, if I click here, it will launch the host file editor. Now, before we even go into launching this host file editor, let me uh, show you another setting. So this is like, if you enable this, it will open the host file editor in an admin mode, okay? Now, remember, this is a system related file. So it has to be in an admin mode to uh, uh, edit those changes, okay? Uh, now, you can also prevent users from making those change. Uh, you can put a show a warning at startup. Okay, you can enable that functionality. Uh, from a behavior perspective, you can put the position of additional content to be either on top or on the bottom. Okay, this is just like one of the functionality. From an encoding perspective, by default is UTF-8. Uh, however, you can put UTF-8 with BOM as well, is an encoding functionality. Okay, now uh, let me first show you how the host file looks like. Okay, so if I do a run and if I just type drivers, it will open the etc host file for me so if this is an etc folder i can see here if i go to host now if i open this it will ask me which application i want it to open so i'll put notepad and say just once okay now if i want to make any change in this host file you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna type the ip address manually you know it is okay if I have something, one or two uh, items, but what if you have multiple items and then if you don't want to, you know, like tamper this host file and make it unusable, you know, like if you make any silly mistake over here, then your entire DNS, uh, local DNS will go for a toss and it will not be able to resolve the uh, uh, IP address. Okay. So what, uh, so this is an old way of, you know, like editing the host file. So let me close this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger the host file application, okay? But before I trigger, I'm going to command prompt and then I'm going to just find the uh, IP address of my website. So I'm just going to do ping, um, say, gerishupan.com, okay? This is my website. And I've got this IP address of my website. Okay, let me copy this IP address, okay? I've copied this IP address. Now let me go into the Power Toys and then launch this host file editor. So I need to come into this host file editor from Power Toys and click here. Click here, it will open. It will ask you for user access account control. I'll say yes, and then the host file editor will open. Okay. So let me minimize my screen and let me show you how this host file editor looks. Okay. Now this is how the host file editor will look. It says, it gives you a warning because we have put a setting. It says that if you alter this host file, then it will have a real world impact on how the computer resolve the domain name. I'll say accept. And here I can see the settings, you know. Now there, are, there were two entries in the host file, 
okay it was all disabled okay now let me create an another entry okay let me create an entry and then i'll put the ip address which i copied and i'll call it as a Kirish. okay and i'll put some comment okay this is Kirish website now how this will resolve if i mark it as active it will be shown over here in this way okay and uh, i'll show you in the raw format how it will look now if you want to see the, the raw format you can click here additional content and this is how it will show you uh, the original syntax you know like hash indicates the comment for your host file and then if you put hash and then put ip address and something this will not be resolved you know because it's just commented you need to remove this comment and then it will resolve ip address to the host name okay so uh let me cancel this out uh you can create another entry so you can add multiple entries over here and then you can mark this as active okay active or inactive if it is active then this will be stored uh, okay so this is active and if i do a right click there is another option to edit i can move this up i can move this down i can delete this entry okay also i can make it available for ping okay so if i click here then the name which i have given over here is girish okay so let me update this let me see here let me go to the command prompt and say i'll just say ping girish okay now what it has done instead of this website it has taken girish it is mapped to this ip address and then it is resolving those ping okay so that means my host file is edited it's a new way to edit your host file and you can open the host file from here as well so if you click here then it will open the host file in a uh, say notepad okay so which i don't want because i want this host file to be edited using this application which is a nice looking application which allows me to enter the entry uh, enter the address host and then put a comment around it okay so this is how the host file is edited so i'll just close this application and then uh, i can show you how the host file looks like in a notepad okay now this is the entry which we just added okay so we have added the ip address we added the name and then we put a comment as well so this is how it adds those entries within your host file so that's it folks this is all about host file host file is busy host file editor is basically an application which allows you to edit a host file without making any mistakes it has got a good user interface so that uh, uh, the editing of the host file is seamless and it uh, it is as good as you are using some application to edit some file uh, so that you don't make mistakes while editing these files okay Thanks for watching.